Christ. Amen. Are we ready, Mike? Okay. Grace and peace to you from God our Father, our ever-present, our risen Lord, and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We're going to read the first, uh, or actually not the first, but the last four verses of today's message as the basis for today's talk and dialogue. It's going to be a little dialogue here. As we do this, uh, Philemon is having a conversation with himself about the letter that he just read and is reading, and he hears a voice, and it reads as follows. So, if you consider me your partner, receive Onesimus as you would receive me. If he has wronged you at all or owes you anything, charge that to my account. I, Paul, write this with my own hand. I will repay it. To say nothing of your owing me, even your own self. Yes, brother, I do want some benefit from you in the Lord. So, refresh my heart in Christ. If we only read the last verse, it makes all the difference in the world. Refresh my heart in Christ. I, I can do that. I, 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 can, I can do that. I can refresh somebody's heart in Christ. Uh, how could I do that now? Uh, what abilities do I have? Oh, I know what I can do. Uh, I can help people lift things, move things. I'm good at that. That's my gift. I, I help people lift things, carry things, move things. My son said I should have had a moving company because I, I help people so much do that. Or maybe if I wanted to help encourage somebody, refresh somebody, oh, I know what I can do. I know people fall chores, right? Nobody likes to do fall chores by themselves, most people. So maybe I could help them do that. Or, or maybe, maybe I, you know, I can help people do their chores that they didn't get time to do during the week because their life has been such a chaos that could help refresh people. Maybe I could see somebody, recognize someone's down and out, and maybe take them out for supper or lunch. Treat on me. That could maybe help refresh somebody. Give them time to talk away. It, those are options that we could look at think of doing if we just listen to the last verse, refresh my heart in Christ. But if we would take into mind the first three verses before that, it comes a different story. It becomes a world of difference. Hang on there, Paul. Now you're meddling with me. Who are you to tell me what to do with someone and how they treated me? Who, who are you to tell me how to treat somebody who they left me high and dry? I didn't deserve anything what he did to me. How he treated me, his behavior, what he did, that was wrong. Are you kidding me, Paul? Are you kidding me? You want me to welcome him back when he did the wrong? You want me to make the effort to welcome him back? And that bozo's the one who mistreated me? Come on. Hang on there, Paul. I'll refresh your heart, all right, old buddy, old pal. <laughs> you bet I will. It ain't going to happen, partner. You actually want me, you're asking me to make up with that clown. <sighs> you're, you're calling out the old you owe me one card to make this happen, too? Come on, Paul. What about me? What about me? Well, everything I had to endure, what I had to go through, how he treated me, how he stole from me. He's the one that did wrong. What are you going to do about that, Paul? Oh, man, this is just crazy. I cannot Philemon. believe he's... Philemon, hey, Philemon, it's me, Paul. Listen, hear me out. Listen to what I said. <sighs> Stop talking and working yourself up into a tizzy, brother. Yeah, he'd know that. Like I said, if Onesimus has wronged you at all or owes you anything, charge it all to my account. I, Paul, will repay it. I, 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 yeah, I hear you. I, I, I hear you, but... Oh, 
It was him who wronged me, not you, Paul. You didn't wrong me. He should pay me back, not you. You, you didn't do me any wrong. He did. He did. You treated me right. You always do. He, it, it should be him. It should be him who's the one I should beat and hit. Not you. So, if you consider me your partner, then do this for me. Receive Onesimus as you would receive me. We are partners, right? Man, it's, it's, it's just so hard, Paul. It's hard. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I can receive you, Paul. Yeah, we're partners. I, I just don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I want to. And now, now I feel bad that because I don't want to. And I don't know if I can do this. It's, it's just so hard to let go. It's so hard to forgive. I know you are going to have a hard time doing this, brother. I know you can't do it for him, so do it for me. I will repay you. All his debt is my debt. I will repay you. You can still receive from me, right? So let me repay you. I'll do it. You know I will. Yeah, yeah, Paul, I know you will. I, I, I know you will repay me. You, you've always treated me right. You always do. You're right. I do owe you. I, I owe you my very life. <sighs> you can do this, Philemon. Refresh my heart. Refresh my heart in Christ. You now can help me, Philemon. You can refresh my heart in Christ. I, I know. I know. I know. It's just, I know I'm going to fall. I know I'm going to fail. I, I know even if I try my best, sooner or later, I'm going to fail. Sooner or later, either he or I are going to sin against each other. And then what then? And, and, and what about, what about Onesimus? How, how is he going to treat me? Is he going to treat me as he treats you? Is he going to receive me as he receives you? Let's let Jesus help with that. Let's let his word heal and help you both. Let's let Jesus' grace have an opportunity to heal old wounds. Let's let Jesus' blood wash away each other of our sins against God and each other. Let's let God's love rule and reign over us. Let's let God's grace pour down over us and in us and heal us all. Uh, it's, it's like Jesus himself is pleading with me. Like Jesus himself is talking to me. And I guess that's what I'm struggling with is, is, is in my own heart right now, right here. I, I'm res I find myself resisting. I, I find myself fighting against what I know I should do. I find myself battling. And, and I know, and I know I'm... <laughs> I know I'm not refreshed. <laughs> I know I'm certainly not at peace. I, I need renewal. God, help me. Forgive me. God, forgive me for not forgiving, for not confessing, for not admitting 
my faults, my sin, and just pointing at my brothers and his faults and his sin. Help me, God, to let go, to do right, and forgive. Lord, I know I'm still mad. I, I know I'm mad at him still, but, but you say you, you can help me with this. So please, help me with this. Help, help me treat him right. I miss him. I miss him. Help, help me start over. Father, Jesus, help me love Onismus, Onismus again. Amen. This letter is written with a good vibration, a good spirit, but I think it hides for us the reality of brokenness and brokenness of relationship and falling out. And you know what? Every one of us deals with falling out. We deal with it all the time. I know I deal with it at least in my mind, in my heart, with my cats, with my kids, and with Laura. I, there's days I wake up and I can handle the cats. Ew, ew, ew. It's all they want. Oh, they climb on my bed and they purr in my ear. And you know what? That doesn't make me feel good. Get away, cats. Sometimes I kick them down. Sometimes I get up and I go, hey, hi, guys. How you doing? Sure, yeah. The first thing I'll do is go feed you. Then there's other days like, forget it. It takes me 15, 20 minutes before I feed them. It depends on what side of the bed you get up. Before you even get out of bed, we're dealing with brokenness of relationships. And here is Paul who's trying to help a brother who has a falling out with one of his servants. And it doesn't matter if you're a manager or an employee or a spouse or a child or a sibling. Every one of us has dealt with the brokenness of relationships. And every one of us has our ways of coping with them. But here is Paul daring the meddle with Philemon to say, Philemon, I know you know the right thing. Do it. Refresh my heart. Do you know what? It is one of the best things we can do. But he, as the writer says, as the letter says, I'm not forcing you. I'm not pressuring you. This is all on you. No one's, no one's forcing him pressuring him to do the right thing. And it's so hard to do. To forgive, to start over, and move on, and come back together again. Refresh my heart in Christ. The only way that can happen is in Christ. The one who's paid the price, who's covered, removed all sin, all stains, all errors, all faults, all mistakes, forever. May you and I remember, may you and I be refreshed by forgiving, starting over in Christ. Amen. Our creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten.